I could, the other topic. Last night, the president kept with the theme of saving democracy, alluding to the fact that maybe former President Trump is a threat to democracy. The vice president is using the same language. Is this a dangerous rhetoric? Look, it is important that we continue to talk about unity. It is. Saving democracy, making sure that we're unified as a country. And he called on the country to come together. That is something that, that is a, that is a theme that he's talked about since 2019. Since 2019, nothing new here. And I'll quote, keep calling out hate and extremism, make it clear there is no place, no place in America for political violence. That's something that the president said last night or any violence ever, period. I'm going to keep speaking out to protect our kids and gun violence. This is something that the president truly believes in. But bringing the country together is a big part of it. That is actually the theme. Unity is the theme that you heard from his, his remarks last night. Go ahead, Jenny. But he, still, but he still talks about a threat to democracy. I mean, there are now three public attempts that were or threats uh, to the former president that, that we know of, yeah. uh, Iran being one of them, <laughs> the shooter the other night. So how many threats are enough to lower the temperature? The president has called on lowering the temperature. But here's the thing, Ed. It takes on all of us to lower the temperature. All of us. I hope you can read between the lines of what I mean by all of us. It takes all of us to take that action and to lower the temperature. And I think when you have a president that uses the Oval Address to talk about unity, not just once, he did it right after, sadly, right after uh, the former president, the attempted uh, assass assassination on the former president, talked about lowering the temperature then, and also talked about really denouncing, condemning political violence and how it has no place in this nation. He talked about, he used the Oval Office to do just that. And we've been condemning political violence for some time. 